Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Node.js full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about a very, very important concept in JavaScript, which is this keyword. This keyword refers to an instance, right? And it is context dependent, which means that this keyword will behave differently in different contexts and in different implications. It also depends upon where it is used, how it is used. You're going to learn all about it in today's episode. Extremely important concept when you start writing real-time complex applications, you will see yourself using the, this keyword very quite often. This is the part seven of the Node.js full tutorial series. I'm your host, my name is Sridhar. Make sure you follow each and every step so that you don't miss out on your learning path. If you have any doubts during this particular tutorial series, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer and help you. All right, like I said, this is a part seven of the JavaScript, this um, tutorial where we'll learn about this keyword. All right, so what is this keyword then? So it's a reference to an object in context. That's what I would describe it as. It looks a little weird definition, uh, difficult to understand, but once you start seeing some hands-on examples, you'll probably understand it better. But for now, starter, you understand that using this, we will reference to an object or to the variables, right? Now, you have used this in defining classes. If you're if you following along this tutorial series, in the classes, when we learned about classes and objects, we have used the, this keyword already, right? Which is referencing its own properties like variable or a method. Now we will use this keyword to reference variables and methods inside a class. Now we can also use this to refer the entire object itself, right? So that's the key uh, concepts that you should understand about the theoretical knowledge or the basic fundamental. Now I'm going to show you this in practical so that you get a 360 degree view of how to use this keyword and why is it extremely important. All right, let's do hands on with this keyword right now. I'll show you with two one is inside an object and the other inside a class. All right, so let's get started. So I have my code open here. Let's put I hope you are practicing all the tutorials that I'm showing you um, here. And if not, please do refer to the videos, follow along, learn. The only way to learn coding is by practicing. All right, so today we are talking about the, this keyword in JavaScript, right? So JavaScript, this keyword. Now, how do we use this, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an object, right? So I'm going to call it um, course work equal to, right? So this is an object in itself, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a method and say get courses right and I'm going to define a function and we can pass some course name here and this becomes an object right so it's an it's if you see some will call it as a class thing definition but it's an object right so here what we will do we will say console.log this right I have not passed anything to it any variable or method right so console.log now what I'm going to do or I'm just going to call this here course work dot get courses and I'll pass a course name here. Let's say node JS right now. See, I let's execute this. So you see it's printing an entire object, which is the output. Now, if you see this, the console that it has print is this object. So if you see here, it is taking the entire object as this reference. And it's very important because when you do this, this is referencing it to the same object in itself. So that's one of the key things that you should be knowing that using, using this operator or this keyword inside an object. Right. So since we are talking about object oriented programming, it's important you understand this concept. Now let's take this to a next level, which is defining objects. Right. Using this keyword. Inside the class. Right. Inside the class. This is extremely important because 
you would you would see this more often as we progress in the series so let's give a class name and say courses right and here let's declare a name course name equal to initially it's empty and then I'm going to define a method and we are going to say um, say we'll define a method and say call it get all courses okay so we can since it's just object oriented I'm going to say this dot course name is equal to here I'll say mean stack okay now see we are now using this operator this keyword here refers to the variable inside the class right so see now when you say this course name it is this course name right so it's referring to the variable inside this particular class right let's see that so for this you will create a new object and I'll say C equal to new courses right C dot get all courses Uh, courses has already been declared okay so we'll do one thing we'll just make it course right so if you see here now this dot course it's printing uh, get courses right so what I'm going to do now uh, we have called this and the console dot log start course name so I'm just printing the variable name so if you see now it says main stack right and also now now this is a key string a lot of people will make mistake here be ca careful attention here right careful attention which is see we defined this dot course name right and if you see here get courses here it is an object right which is referencing in itself so this has this keyword this keyword refers to entire object okay here in line number 132 whereas in the class we can say this dot course name which refers to a variable now let's define one more method and say set set course right so here again we are changing we are reading the name of the course and I'll say c2 equal to course name so I've read it and then what I'm doing is I will let's change it a little bit right so I'm going to say hello let's see two right and then what we will do we will call get course name right so we can also refer to a method so we can say that get all courses right so this is valid method now instead we can make this a dynamic one and pass the values along right so if you see this dot you can now calling we are now calling method using this keyword so what it means is that it will say inside this particular class go find a method by the name get courses right this means inside this class go find a variable by the name course name right so now there are three things that you have seen one is right so first using this keyword inside object second using this keyword inside class to access a variable third using this keyword inside class to access a method right so if you understand this con these three things you are good to roll and you can start writing serious large complex enterprise applications right so what I want you to do is give this a try sorry for this again uh, this should be uh, in the next topic I'll cover I didn't write it here but then you get an idea so in the next episode I will cover detail about some other new topic that we want to plan which is 
uh, modules and require so we'll cover that uh, in the next episode stay tuned for that if you like the video give a thumbs up like this video share comment subscribe to my channel thank you so much